Do you agree what Booker T had to say in response to Swerve Strickland's recent remarks about WWE? So this is per ringside news. We are going to take a ganda into what they had to say, what Booker T had to say. Swerve had said they only complain when a black person gets paid. I will say that, etc. He basically got caught lying where he, Swerve said years ago, they contacted my people. I never talked to WWE when when they put Hit Row back together in WWE because that was what Dallas already- said. Too. Now he's trying to tell Raj Geary, "Oh, I got receipts," and then that got backpedaled. He's like, "Well, I never talked to them. My people talked to them," and it's <laughs> like, so what was Swerve like, dude? Get your story straight if you're going to talk. MVP now confronting Monea. Let's see what happens. Well, this is the Swerve. The same guy said they were going to be on Fox. What, what happened right. there, Swerve? Yeah, I feel like he just says some things a lot of times. <laughs> and it's just it's it. So MVP just dropped Monet his card. So now, speaking of the whole race thing, I want to hear all the people who go, right? oh, Triple H just sticks all the same people of the same color in the same faction. I want to hear those same sickos keep the same energy with AEW because all MVP's done has gone up to Monet and Nana and, every, and, and he's giving sword. them cards, trying to recruit them or something. I don't yeah. know what's going on, but it's he's, the same thing, it seems. But anyways, on the Hall of Fame podcast, Booker T says, I look at the black talent in WWE right now, dog. You know, Bianca Belair, Ob- Obafemi, the new day of one more tag team championships than anybody, man. Bianca has headlined at WrestleMania. Obafemi is a young guy out of college who's doing big things in NXT. I'm just trying to figure out what he's talking about, dog. Pentel Zero Miedo says he's still under contract with AEW. Everyone defends their interests. Tony is defending his interests. We are defending ours. I'm going to tell you what my situation is at the present. I'm still under contract with AEW. You what? That is my present. The future, I've not even started to think about what is going to happen because I prefer the here and my here and now is AEW. He obviously had like had to say something. He's still under contract. So contract tampering. Clearly both companies, because that's what they do in wrestling. They all talk to each other. There's no such thing as contract tampering in wrestling, dude. This has happened since the dawn of time. They're independent contractors as well. So it's not contract tampering. Like, if anything, an independent contract worker should be able to go talk about their next contract when their current one's done. They should be allowed to do that because they're independent goddamn contractors. So I'm so sick of this dumb contract tampering. It goes both ways. AEW did it too. So... Yes, WWE is this tampering. I don't know, but clearly the Lucha Bros were reaching out as well. They went and trademarked new names, all of this stuff. So how did they pick those names? Well, WWE asks you to make a list and they give you a list and there's a little combined list of names that they think would be good using your ideas and theirs. And then you come up with the, you choose your names. That's how it works. So they are clearly planning all of that. They trademark King Fuego, King... um, what was the other one? King Phoenix. So it sucks. They'll be at AEW for like a year, injury time, all that. And yeah, I don't know. Hopefully they get to be free soon. And hopefully, like I saw another quote where it said, Penta's willing to work. He's willing to actually work for AEW. Well, gee, golly G, man. It'd be amazing if he was allowed to work. You know what I mean? Why is he not on TV? It's crazy. So I don't know. Tony will put them on TV, job them out, let them go when they're probably in a year, which sucks, but it's smart if you're Tony, honestly. Uh, Moving along. Tony McCann was asked if he's seen the Vince McMahon documentary, Mr. McMahon. Tony said, no, I've been so busy with football and wrestling. I have not seen that documentary. I've not gotten to watch that. Perfectly good answer. Then he goes on to say, mostly focused here on what we're doing at AW. I do love watching wrestling all over the world. What? <laughs> Why is that last part? Why did you say the last part? What the f- I do. I will get around to it, though. Jesus. So, yeah, we talked about it a moment ago. Swerve Strickland wishes he could take back comments on AEW Fox TV deal because it comes out today that they're strictly with WWE, yeah. which 
is hilarious if you guys really think about it that's like one of the funniest things ever pete in texas says i promise tony khan does the bare minimum with the jags yeah bro they're zero and four this season complete trash hey, here's real jack cassidy he loves aew this is what i Love. mean they like laugh this stuff off but it's like no man no this is what's killing aew and people go killing they just got this big deal okay they got potentially 150 million a year okay good for them it's not this billion dollar right ever, two billion and all this stuff and like good for them it doesn't mean the tv is going to be good but listen to this this is alvarez right here listen how stupid this is and they laugh this stuff off like this is oh, no. i'm not saying wrestling can't be fun and has to be super serial but this is why we make fun of and like even alvarez is like no this is ridiculous you know so thankfully he says something as well. I'm aligning with Alvarez more and more as time goes on. No, <laughs> I, mean, I don't know if that'll ever happen, but yeah, I, I, I mean, he's, you know, it's like one in every 10 things, but you know, it's, he does, he does have his moments. Now, this, this is the funniest thing in a while. So it's Jack Perry versus Minoru Suzuki. Okay. <laughs> now this is a collision match. Okay. <laughs> And so the announcers on Collision are Tony Schiavone, Daddy Magic, and Ian Riccoboni. All right? Word. Now, for reasons I cannot Word. explain, they taped this before Dynamite. Hmm. Okay? Hmm. So they're going to tape this match before Dynamite, and they suddenly realize... That Ian Riccoboni has not made it to the building yet. Uh -huh. He has travel issues. Okay. Well, their solution, Tony Khan's solution was pretend he's there. He's not kidding, going, dude. Listen. They do commentary. You're going to pretend he's there. Um, and every now and then you're going to go quiet for a while and he will insert a comment in post. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's that's his. Do you guys hear this? Jesus Christ! So Tony Khan goes, "Let's pretend he's there," and in post, let's just add in a line from him randomly. It, it's just like, just say he's not there. Just don't have him there. Just have a different guy on the show. Just say Ian Riccoboni's out on assignment. They've got seven hundred commentators in this friggin' company. You can't think one of them to go out there, or what just the fuck, let like. I mean, how was, I mean, it was Shivani and, you know, and Daddy Magic. He, that would, I'm, that have been serviceable. I mean, there, there wasn't one of the other eight, 18 commentators they have or backstage interviews. You couldn't send somebody out there. You had to pretend that was your solution. See, this is the problem. No one said, hey, Tony, that's, that, that might not be the best idea. Nobody, no, nobody. It's so insane, man. It's the oh most insane God. thing in the world. Um, <laughs> So sad. So, Dose message me. He's like, <laughs> I'm like, yo, let's talk about the TV deal. He goes, check Zary and Raj and Baydala. They should. Get... <laughs> he's like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's a funny ass dude. Solution. All right. Pretend he's there. So the problem is, as you're watching this match, you can see he's not there. <laughs> Every now and then they'll do like a long shot, and you see the announcers, and there's no Ian Riccoboni. But, like, his voice just magically appears. So then there's another problem. Well, these two men start battling over to the announce booth. Ian Riccoboni is not there. Well, apparently, Tony Schiavone is such a pro after all these years that he realizes the jam they're in. And so he starts to scream, Ian is hidden under the desk! That's what that was. Yeah. <laughs> and then you hear Ian's voice say, but I'm scared. <laughs> and then you hear daddy. Bro, this is for real. Like what AEW. I'm did. dying. This I haven't seen this man. yet. I'm dying. Man, this... to go, Ian, get out from under the desk. <laughs> Can we please put uh... Tony Schiavone in the hall of awesome? So what I would like everyone to do. Yeah, I'm those guys. I, I that, am these I didn't guys. really comprehend yes. what's going on. Yes. If you have not watched this match. Now that you have this knowledge, you must go back and watch it. <laughs> but I'm scared. And if you...
It's like Tony. Why would he do that? It, it's just so silly. Now, it's not like the most agreed. It's it's a funny story, it, but it's like this is some botchamania indie shit. Oh this is God. like a story Kevin Steen tells to RF Video about an indie promo motion that happened in a place in front of ninety people or something, and there's grainy footage. Yeah, this isn't your Saturday night television show on TN friggin' T bananas dude that's hilarious oh um God. so guys tonight on the five-year anniversary the main event we have the aew world title versus the aew continental title but the continental title is only at stake for the first 20 minutes of the match you i don't what? understand why so people tried to say every continental title match is only 20 minutes but then okay. uh the dude telling me that I was like, I don't believe that. I swear more have gone longer than that. They've had to have dude looked it up and he's like, Oh yeah. Well, except for the one with Eddie Kingston that went 22 minutes or whatever. And I was like, well, there you go. Like, yes. In the tournament, the tournament matches at a 20 minute time limit. When the else has it been 20 minutes for a continental title man like I, I don't know that's not a thing they tell us enough and AEW I've bitched about it since the beginning they need to establish their rules they need to not yeah. have like ring of honor guys come in and wrestle in pure rules and let new japan guys come in and wrestle with a 20 count they need to tell everyone I don't care if the tag teams are in the ring for 20 seconds but tell me that they are, they have a 20 second limit to tag their partner and do double teams like at least explain it to me so oh yeah for some reason in order to make it so danielson and okada can have a title versus title but no one loses their belts mm. he just says oh this one belt's on the line for 20 minutes and why would he even be fighting okada when the bumba clock club suffocated him with a bag and did all this and like are invading AEW and beat down Brian and all this stuff like this. Why wouldn't he be fighting Pac or Mox or Neo Moxley or like uh, Claudio instead he's just fighting Okada belt for belt. And one of them's on the line for only 20 minutes. Like do I, it's just so insane to it's, me, the things that get done. It's not like, Oh, this could be a cool stipulation. These are the things that like irritate people like, dude, you're Convol it's such a contrived concept that you're doing for no reason you don't need to do this and it, it was a last minute people... announcement too like it just doesn't make yeah. any sense. it i i thought it was a fake when i saw this like that's actually the the tweet that i saw was from heel Uzi. i thought it was a fake graphic i had to like i was like no that's that someone made that somebody no. made that for botchamania or promo joe or ha 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 no, that's real. Okay. Just so they can beat Okada and keep a belt on him. Exactly. Best guys, Tony Khan. That's what it is, man. And it's 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 messed up. It's not like the most egregious offense, but it's like it's messy. Is it's not messed up. It's messy. Is what I mean to say. You know what yeah, I mean? It's, it's just so like crap. you're just putting hats on hats here. Relax. Just put the title. Put just Danielson's belt on the line. If it's him against Okada or something, yeah. why are they even fighting for the belt though? Just cause it's so stupid. Oh, right, man, make it an eliminator good. match. Fine. No, this is just like no, no, not fine. If it's an eliminator match, that too because that's stupid. Like, I mean, because he needs to get Tony needed to get oh, to come this. Come on match now, oh, Jake. That's gets... not very fair. That's not a good idea either. <laughs> but it's just like thinks, it's just like how he wanted to get to McNigel and Danielson at Grand Slam. He doesn't. He wants that match, and how he gets there, no matter how convoluted it is, no matter how bass backwards it is, he's like, that's fine. It'll make sense. And this is why he's Tony McCon, because he's just like, oh, they won't remember. It's fine, pal. Well, they don't have, they got their memories of goldfish. It's fine. Luchasaurus oh, has been crazy. hospitalized and is on oxygen, recovering from double pneumonia. Uh, prayers, chat, best yeah, juju, awesome. best wishes to uh, Luchasaurus. Um, I've always, always been a fan when he and Jungle Boy where that were ju where the Jurassic Express and that whole oh well, they had such an opportunity to market to kids with that thing, and instead we discovered Jack Perry wanted to flip through glass and is a mark, <laughs> and we discovered that Christian Cage was like, I need to get this guy the as far away from Jack Perry as I possibly can, and thank God Christian's been working with this dude, but yeah, I hope he's okay, and that's terrifying. Prayers up, best wishes for Luchasaurus, one hundred percent.
We'll keep him. Yeah, they said he was only like a couple of days from having like permanent damage, but he should make a full recovery. But he's supposed to be out for like over a month or around a month or something like that. That's that's scary. And look at that six four. He's a ripped up meaty dude. If you ever look up pictures of him without his mask, handsome cat, and it just shows you it can happen to anyone. Man, take care of your health. Chat, take care of your health and get me to 100 likes or we're fighting. Um, just, <laughs> an just announced, AJ of the Costco guys has announced he's going to wrestle a match. So, A, what the, oh. are the Costco guys? I don't even know what that is. So, can somebody so help me out, chat? Social influencers. So, think of it like, you know, two goofy guys similar to the same realm. Realm, say not they are, but the same realm as like... Logan Paul and Jake Paul and I Show Speed and KSI, those level? guys. Oh, no, they're not at that level, they're, but they're sort of in the same realm. Um, okay. There's, it's just how they going to pull this off. I mean, I, and know, I know that I, I get Brad Shepard, you know, because he brought it, he's mentioned this, you know, but hey, look, uh, this is what you do, you know. You try to go to social you know, media influencers to help. They'll draw traffic. It, if if executed, it could work. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. But they're not cool. I mean, you're <laughs> trying to get. Yeah, that's just it. Are these them? Like, is it a dude? Yeah, and his kid? that's those guys. As yeah, yeah. It's just, this is lame, bro. Like, I never heard of these, and I'm not a hater. They're standing in front of the bar, bar stool thing. I'm all about like, hey, I don't watch I Show Speed or or whatever the KSI or whatever was in uh, the Prime costume that got RKO'd or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I don't pay attention speed, to yes. those. Yeah, I don't pay attention to those guys either. But guess what? I still will say that's a good look for WWE. But he's isn't he like a like, don't those kids take boxing fights? And so it makes sense if they're dressed up and are willing to goofishly square off with a Randy Orton and take an RKO. This guy looks like a dude who just drinks beers and they're called the Costco guys. Why do they go to Costco? Do they, what, why are they called the Costco guys? Because I get, I, you know, so I've, so they basically do a lot of their tapings from Costco. That's why they're called the Costco guys. Oh, it's I their mean, gimmick, they, brother. It's their gimmick. Yes. Gimmick. <laughs> Let's go to the Costco dogs. Yeah. So this guy looks like he drinks beer and he, eats, he, he drinks Kir beer. he drinks Kirkland vodka and eats. You know what I mean? Eats Costco dogs. All he's day. got his no, he's got his own silver toothpick for his own free samples. No, I got it. I, I mean, look, they, they they have their own show. It's called AJ and the Big Juice Justice Show. <laughs> It has 155,000 subscribers. So look, they they're doing something. It's just yeah, right. But there's the difference: 155,000 subscribers. And while I don't watch like I Show Speed or in uh, Logan Paul either, but I know they've got you know tens millions. of millions yeah. of followers. Like that's yeah, big difference. So, uh, yeah, the KS, watch, you go to oh. KSI and you are so oh, yeah. you go to yeah, and or even you know what I Show Speed. I can't believe. Oh, so I show speed here. I'm looking at on his YouTube channel alone. 32.2 million subscribers. Crazy. <sighs> and he just came into an RKO. So this guy and, and his kid. <laughs> and he JD Remember. from NY has more subs than these guys. Chad, what are we doing here? Okay, so <laughs> on the AEW All Out pre-show, he spoke about how he used to wrestle on the Jersey independent scene with Sanjay Dutt. Okay. And we promised you we had a huge announcement today. And here it is. We have a full video coming out later in the week. But we want to get this announcement to you as promised. We signed the contract today. We will be coming back for one more match. So I am wrestling one more match, and it will be for AEW. He's going to wrestle a rotisserie chicken. <laughs> All elite wrestling. We don't know exactly when. We don't know exactly where. We don't know exactly who my opponent's going to be. But I am wrestling for one match at All Elite Wrestling. The contract is signed. Big Justice, how crazy is it? We're coming to AEW to bring the... So the kid's name is Big Justice? Yo, check it out. You know what's going to happen? He's going to wrestle like Satnam Singh and Jeff Jarrett, and then this kid's going to get involved somehow and do like the guitar shot or something. That's what it's going to be. I guarantee you. Oh. Oh. What do you think, Big Justice? It's really crazy because I know that you love wrestling, so I know that you're really excited, and I'm really excited too. So now everyone. I mean, I can't hate on it. They're linking with Barstool. If it's going to, if it's done good, but knowing AEW, they won't do it right. But I, I, it's just, right, that's not, the problem. You yeah. look at how WWE does it, and you know there's a science to this. You, and 
even then, you're not sure if the ice show speed fans are going to go. Because boxing has tried it now for, what, how many years? Five, six. Oh, let's get the influencers. And it's worked for maybe one or two, you know, for, for Paul Brothers. And even then, at once, you know, once, you know, Logan left, Jake Paul, you know, if after, outside <laughs> of if he's not fighting a big, big name, nobody yeah. cares. Anthony Strano goes, their next match is the Hawk to a girl <laughs> against Mercedes. <laughs> CEO. CEO. You know to this us. might be perfect CEO. for you. I was thinking about this. This right, could be perfect for, for you, Phil. You can have you can write to Tony. Go hey, Tony. Intergender match. Uh, Costco Bros versus Tonga twins. Make it happen. Excel. Oh, fuck out of here with that. This guy oh, can't Jesus. let it go. You hey, hey, Chris. Hey, you were wrong about the AW deal. You want to be wrong about that too, dog? Get ready. Watch. No, um, look, Tony's not gonna do anything. He has he has no shame with this Costco boy thing. So do it. Just say, hey, look, Mercedes wants it. Air gender match. Costco bros versus Tonga twins. Mercedes interferes, <laughs> find the Tonga twins. This you can make this happen. You can become the president of not just the Tonga Twin fan club, but the Mercedes Monet fan club. I'm just big. This is big money for you here, Phil. You can do this. The kid will go through a flaming table. <laughs> Yeah, dude. They they let Guevara <sighs> dive on the kid. <laughs> they choke slam him off the stage. Oh, shit. You you want him to get sued and like you know fired and arrested and banned for life, don't you? Nobody should suggest no, that because no. Tony might do that. You don't. You can't trust him. As I said, you could pitch him the Tonga Twins versus <laughs> Costco Bros. And he might go, "Hey, that's not a bad idea." And you'll go, "No, no, I'm I'm just." screwing with you, Nico. No, it's still a very good idea. I'm going to do that. Tony's going to put the title on him? <laughs> no, he'll make Don't him a new title. give him bad the ideas. Do will make him the Costco title. title. Yeah, yeah, dude. You know Tony can't. He, he's got... He, he's he buys them in bulk, dude. Down. He buys he the titles in bulk, bro. Costco title. Give yourself an air horn. That was a good one. Oh, yeah, dude. Here, yeah, it's okay. a good one. Yeah, All Jake's here. One. I'll give myself an air horn. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Tony Khan with his belt, belts in bulk.